Okay, update on the warehouse here. Doing Carhartt shit, so I got my Carhartts on. Okay, we painted the floor, like I said in the last video. Um, and now I'm building the racks, which I showed you guys. I picked up some stuff, okay? So a lot of people are using these kind of racks now. This is black steel um, piping. It's fairly cheap compared to what else is on there. You can like get it cut to your length and get it threaded, which this is the threading. Um, you gotta go to like a machine shop. You can buy pre-cut lengths threaded, but you won't be able to custom too much um, your scenario. So I draw up, draw up a map of the rack system, take your measurements, get your um, pipe cut and threaded. You can buy lots of fixings, uh, pipe, pipe fixings, or fittings, pipe fittings, fixings, what the fuck. Uh, this is a five-way, it's kind of rare. Four-way is common. Um, then you got something called a floor flange, which you're gonna need, which you attach it to the wall and the floor with, just screws together. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm setting it up like a mock-up, just gonna tack it into the wall because this is drywall and the drywall is not gonna be strong enough to screw this into. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack it up to the wall I'm gonna build it, level it, get it all sorted the way it's gonna be. Then I'm going to cut open the drywall, put some support studs in there, fix the drywall, and then put the whole rack back together. So it's kind of an annoying process because of the fucking drywall. But if you can measure it to your studs exactly, then you're gonna save yourself some headache. But I didn't do that, okay? So I'll show you some updates as we go here, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Tacking the rack up, fixing the wall, putting the rack back up, let's go. Okay, so it's been about two days. I've been working hard. See here behind me, the wall is cut open. I had to put some studs um, between, or some support braces between the studs to hold the floor flanges. You don't want to screw into drywall. It's going to come out. Your racks are going to suck and not be strong. So I had to do like three, four big holes in the wall, uh, put the supports in, put the drywall back, putty it all up and then repaint, and then I'll be ready to put the rack up. It's a process, unless you're screwing into wood, which is super, super, super easy. Anyway, extra step for me, not for you, hopefully. I'm just finishing the painting. Then, we will make the rack. Okay, we're back in the warehouse. Jesse's here. Jesse, clean that pipe, buddy. Clean the pipe it up. <laughs> Yo, Jesse is crushing it on the pipe cleaning. Uh, we're fucking basically Cory and Trevor together over here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so we got the wall fixed like I showed you. This is a continuation of my previous video, bro. Okay. When we're getting this rack done, we're putting it all together. Fucking solid. Serious Super shit, solid. Nice. Here's a tip, okay? These five point fuckers, you have to order on Amazon. You can't buy them at your hardware store. Everything else you get at the hardware store. Um, yeah, and you just fucking screw it together. Check that out. Slap it in the wall. Bob's your uncle. But you gotta find someone to grease these pipe cocks. <laughs> okay, we're done for the day again. There you have it. Uh, she's almost done. We got one more section to make, but we miscalculated the flanges, the floor flanges, and a couple steel pipes we need to get cut, so we're gonna finish tomorrow. But you get the idea. Very straightforward, slap it together, screw it in. Make sure you have something to screw it into behind the wall. Make sure you degrease your steel pipes, guys. You gotta degrease them. And uh, that's it, enjoy. Stay tuned for more new warehouse updates. Follow the channel and like this video or you're dead to me forever. <laughs>